there are still a lot of things about Antarctica that we don't understand. The things that ancient explorers and contemporary scientists have discovered are quite amazing. In fact, Antarctica is the last discovered and least explored continent, and it holds many mysteries. Antarctica has caught our attention for many years. From the intrepid scientists of today to the famous first explorers of the 1800s, we have been fascinated by the treasures hidden within Antarctica's frozen plains. From blood-red waterfalls to proof of the existence of dinosaurs, here are 20 incredible recent discoveries in Antarctica. Number 20. Researchers planned a colossal squid expedition. In October 19, 2022, in Venice, California, we are made to believe that a collaborative effort being handled by ocean nonprofit Colossal is underway between a polar tourism vessel, underwater technologists, and marine biologists to continuously send deep sea creatures into the southern ocean in order to attempt to uncover the biological mysteries of the colossal squid. They have already launched a crowdfunding campaign to support the expedition until November 2017 with help from the Experiment Foundation, and so far, they've arrived at 75% of their nearly $15,000 stretch goal. The goal of the expedition is to find and study the colossal squid before 2025, which would be around the 100-year anniversary of the first discovery of the species. So, in case you're wondering what the colossal squid is, it's the largest invertebrate in the world, and it so happens to be one of the largest predators of the ocean. Its eyes are about the size of dinner plates, and it has been recorded as the animal with the largest eye in the animal kingdom. This creature could weigh as much as 750 kilograms, or maybe even more. It's believed that the colossal squid can be found in the deep sea in the southern ocean around Antarctica, but only a few specimens have been found. Sadly, it has never been observed in its natural habitat. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. That takes us to today's video's strange topic. Over 40 years ago, the Navy used a C-121 Lockheed Constellation named Pegasus to fly passengers between Christchurch and Antarctica. As McMurdo-bound aircraft normally carry relatively little extra fuel, they eventually reach a point where they can no longer turn around and must continue on their route. The Pegasus crashed into the ground on October 8, 1970, after being entangled in a storm past the point of no return. The plane has been covered in snow since it was abandoned, and has accumulated decades worth of graffiti from irresponsible visitors. The aircraft gives its name to the neighboring Pegasus airfield, the southernmost one servicing McMurdo. Today, you can visit the crash site as a tourist and take pictures. Makes for a really fun way to see a bit of Antarctic history. Comment down below with the hashtag strange topic and let us know what you think about this. With that said, let's move on. Number 19. The ozone hole above Antarctica is growing larger. The Antarctic ozone hole in early December 2022 crested at a reasonably significant size for the third consecutive year, larger than the size of North America. However, experts have claimed that despite recent blips caused by high-altitude cold weather, the Antarctic ozone hole is still usually decreasing. On October 5th, the ozone hole reached its greatest size, which has been that way since 2015, measuring more than 10 million square miles, 26.4 million square kilometers. According to scientists, conditions are ideal for ozone-eating chlorine compounds because of cooler than usual temperatures above the southern polar regions at the height of 7 to 12 miles where the ozone hole is. Scientists concur that CFCs, which were initially created in the 1930s for use in refrigeration systems before being utilized as propellants and aerosol spray cans, are to blame for the ozone layers thinning. The chemicals can move from the surface of the Earth to the stratosphere because they are stable. High-energy UV radiation then breaks them down at the height where the stratospheric ozone is prevalent. The subsequent chemical process eliminate ozone. CFCs have been outlawed in 197 nations worldwide. Number 18. Mount Michael Researchers from the UK have discovered the world's eighth permanent lava lake, which is boiling inside Mount Michael, an active volcano perched atop the isolated Saunders Island in the sub-Antarctic South Sandwich Islands, tucked away at the southernmost reaches of the South Atlantic. The truth is a little bit different. 
These dreadful lava lakes definitely exist, although they're much less common than you may think. Only a handful of perennial lava lakes exist among the estimated 1,500 potentially active volcanoes throughout the planet. And this fiery group has welcomed a new member to their ranks. Volcanic activity at Mount Michael has been recorded for about 200 years, but due to the island's great seclusion and tough physical environment, doing field research up close is challenging, if not impossible. However, the desire to learn more about what has been occurring beneath Mount Michael's steaming canopy has long existed. Despite the obstacles, in the 1990s, satellites picked up thermal anomalies at the volcano, but the readings didn't show any signs of magma overflow flowing out of the crater, which may have pointed to the presence of a lava lake. In a recent study, Fretwell and co-workers investigated more recent, higher-resolution satellite imagery captured between 2003 and 2018 by Landsat. Sentinel-2, and Aster data. A thermal examination of the shortwave infrared SWIR data revealed a lava lake between Mount Michael, with molten lava temperatures as high as 1,279 degrees Celsius, 2,334 degrees Fahrenheit, and an estimated width of 110 meters. However, the average heat of the whole volume is lower due to heat loss at the crust. Although this very unusual structure was found, the new analytical procedures that were created in order to do so may have had a greater long-term influence. Number 17. Huge Hole Hidden in Antarctica When a massive hole that was more than 20,000 square miles in size spontaneously reappeared from the ice that appeared to be solid near Antarctica, NASA experts were astounded. The Weddell Polynya, also known as the Weddell Sea Polynya, is an oddly shaped stretch of open water encircled by sea ice in the Weddell Sea of the Southern Ocean that encircles Antarctica. Between 1974 and 1976, this oddity was visible every winter before it abruptly vanished into solid ice, seemingly never to be seen again. But when the Earth Observatory picked it up again four decades later, NASA scientists were amazed. How the hole was discovered once more was described by Tech Insider on their YouTube channel in 2017. It claims that in 2016, for the first time in more than 40 years, NASA satellites discovered a small opening. The opening has significantly expanded since then and is now big enough to fit Maryland, 20,000 square miles. Its resurgence is a puzzle to scientists, despite the fact that it's still five times smaller than it was in the 1970s. Many doubts persist despite one expert's comment that it appeared as though someone had punched a hole in the ice. However, experts today believe it is not a mystery. The polar southern ocean south of the Antarctic circumpolar current has become fresher and more stratified since the 1970s, most likely as a result of man-made climate change. But the Waddell Sea Polina might not be returning as a result of the stratification. Number 16. Thwaites Glacier the Thwaites Glacier is one of many ice masses that are melting, but it is particularly significant in terms of sea level rise because of its size and location in Antarctica. According to Ted Scambos, a glacier scientist from the University of Colorado in the U.S. and the director of the International Thwaites Glacier Collaboration Science Coordination Office, we're talking about an area that's the size of the island of Great Britain. Scambos estimates that if the Thwaites Glacier melts completely, the sea level will rise by about 0.6 meters. However, Thwaites' internal portion is encircled by other enormous ice sheets that encompass West Antarctica. Additionally, if Thwaites melts, the remaining ice will also flow into the basin and melt because it is located in a large, low-elevation basin. The result of adding up all that ice is a sea level rise of more than 3 meters. Thwaites' location on the Antarctic continent is what makes it such a substantial contribution to sea level rise. It resembles a lollipop in shape, with the candy portion resting in a sizable basin and the stick jutting out from the continent to the ocean. And that stick is quickly melting. Number 15. Mysterious Blood Falls in Antarctica Blood Falls was so named because of its crimson hue. It's not actually a bloody gusher from some hidden wound. The hue was first attributed to red algae, but research published in the Journal of Glaciology used radar to analyze the strata of ice from which the river flows to determine the exact source. A group of scientists, including Aaron C. Petit, a National Geographic emerging explorer, made this finding. The falls, which arise from Taylor Glacier and are situated in Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valleys, release water that rises up through cracks in the glacier surface. 
The average temperature is 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 17 degrees Celsius, and the glacial melting is noticeable at the surface. Therefore, the flow was previously a mystery. A complex network of subglacial rivers and a subglacial lake, both of which were filled with brine rich in iron and responsible for the crimson hue of the falls, were revealed by imaging from beneath the glacier, which helped it to solve the puzzle. The study claims that the brine's chemical composition explains why it flows rather than freezes. According to the study, the higher salt content and latent heat of freezing allowed the brine to remain liquid in subglacial and endglacial conditions. Because salt water has a smaller freezing point than pure water and releases heat as it freezes, it melts the ice, allowing the rivers to flow. The lake beneath the glacier has an abnormally salty quality. This indicates that the glacier is capable of supporting flowing water, and that it is also the coldest glacier on Earth with continuous water flow. Yet the water itself is so packed with iron that it seems to be something altogether different. The amount of iron-rich brine in the river water was also monitored as part of this study and it was discovered that the amount of brine rose as readings got closer to the falls. Number 14. The Abandoned Huts British explorer Robert Falcon Scott set out on his Terra Nova expedition from Cape Evans in an effort to be the first person to reach the South Pole. However, the captain and his comrades never made it back to camp because Amundsen beat them to the pole, and they perished on the way back. A constructed, seaweed-insulated timber cottage and its outbuildings, as well as scientific instruments designed to gauge the continent's dreadful environment, were all that Scott and his men left behind. Sir Ernest Shackleton would subsequently live in the cabin while on his Imperial Transarctic Expedition, and equipment from both expeditions are still present at the camp today, serving as important reminders for the heroic area of Antarctic exploration. On Ross Island in Antarctica, near Cape Evans, is where Scott's hut is situated. Due to the persistent low temperatures, the hut and its contents are astonishingly well maintained today, even though it was abandoned in 1913. The Scott expedition had the goal of gathering biological samples as one of its objectives. Number 13. Pyramids in Antarctica an Antarctic mountain with a distinctive pyramid-like appearance has suddenly become well-known online, and several theorists are wondering where it came from. Some people are speculating about whether an old civilization built the rocky pyramidal building, while others are pointing up into space and suggesting that aliens may have been involved. Occam's razor, which holds that the most straightforward answer is always correct, however, points to a much more common explanation. Those steep pyramid-like sides are most likely the result of many millions of years of erosion, according to scientists who spoke with live science. Professor of Earth System Science at the University of California, Irvine, Eric Rigneau, wrote in an email to Life Science that this is merely a mountain that looks like a pyramid. Shapes are not unattainable. Many peaks have a pyramidal appearance in part, but they only have one to two such faces, but hardly ever four. According to a 2007 study that was released by the U.S. Geological Survey, the Pyramidal Mountain is one of the many peaks that make up Antarctica's Ellsworth Mountains, which were found by the American aviator Lincoln Ellsworth during a trip on November 23, 1935. Number 12. The Lake Lake Vostok, one of the biggest subglacial lakes in the world, is deep, dark, and enigmatic. Near Russia's Vostok Research Station, Lake Vostok, which was formerly a sizable surface lake in East Antarctica, is now covered by ice that extends for around 2.5 miles. Thousands of years of ice have shielded it from light and atmospheric interaction. According to research conducted by Louisiana State University biologist Brent Christner, using ice cores taken from above the lake, the lake has been frozen in ice for at least 15 million years. According to NASA, some estimations state that the lake has been frozen for up to 25 million years. Lake Vostok rivals Lake Ontario in North America as one of the largest freshwater lakes in Earth in terms of size and volume. According to a blog post by glacial scientist Bethan Davies, the lake is around 149 miles long, 31 miles wide, and hundreds of meters deep. The northern and southwest corners of the lake are rather shallow, but the southern end may be up to 0.6 miles deep. A Russian explorer and pilot who observed the sizable smooth piece of ice above the lake from the air in the 1960s were the first to hypothesize the existence of a sizable submerged lake. However, the existence of the subglacial lake wasn't established until 1993, when researchers employed satellite-based radar to examine the region. Number 11. Allen Hills 84001 one meteorite, or space rock, that came to Earth is ALH 84001. 
It was discovered by a U.S. meteorite hunting mission in December 1984 near Antarctica. ALH 84001 weighed roughly 4 and 3 4 pounds when it was discovered. Approximately 6 inches long, 4 inches wide, and 3 inches high, it had a rounded brick-like appearance and was partially covered in black glass, almost like it was dipped in tar. All meteorites develop the glass, known as fusion crust, as they burn through the Earth's atmosphere. The interior of ALH 84001 seemed green, which greatly enthused the crew. Altogether, ALH 84001 seems far more gray than green when viewed from civilization. Its igneous age, which is roughly 4.5 billion years old, indicates that ALH 84001 initially originated from molten lava, presumably from a former Martian volcano. A geologist would classify ALH 84001 as an igneous rock, like many others, that formed when lava solidified inside the Earth. When Mittelfeld first identified ALH 84001 as having a Martian origin in 1994, it was still categorized as belonging to a significant category of volcanic meteorites called geogenites. About 4 billion years ago, long after the molten lava that formed ALH 84001 crystallized and then cooled, the material was heated once more and bent by a powerful shock. This heating and shock were most likely caused by a nearby asteroid or meteorite impact. Sometime after this impact, possibly about 3.6 billion years, many years ago, a liquid of some sort passed over ALH 84001 and left spherical globules of carbonate minerals behind. These carbonate globules contain the potential Martian remains. Only one more recent event, a shock event, is visible in ALH 84001. This shock might have been caused by the meteorite strike that launched ALH 84001 off Mars. Number 10. Giant Face in Antarctica Don't you want to believe that humanity has recently uncovered a colossal alien face structure? We certainly live in interesting times. With constant news coverage, it would be like living in a sci-fi movie. But could you picture the Fox News alerts as a global crew set out to uncover this extraterrestrial monolith? Then comes the actual excavation as they search for secret passages and extraterrestrial communications, and the meaning of Trump's tweets about aliens. Everything about the event would be fantastic. Weird footage of the strange phenomenon was released earlier by the well-known Instagram account UFO Scandinavia. It depicts a man adjusting the zoom levels of a satellite image on Google Earth. The snow that can be seen resembles an eye, a nose, and a mouth. It looks like the mouth is twisted into a horrifying grimace. The face is huge, as you can see in this picture. Some think the unusual image is proof of a lost civilization, which has caused a frenzy online. Crazy conspiracy theorists have long maintained that an ancient civilization, probably of extraterrestrial origin, once existed or does so today beneath the Antarctic ice. Blake and Brett Cousins, who run the Third Phase of Moon YouTube channel, express their theories about the Google Earth photograph. According to Blake's video, it appears to be a huge, ancient edifice of some kind of face that has been seen for the first time on Google Earth. Number 9. Dinosaurs some of the first fossils ever discovered in Antarctica weren't even found by a paleontologist. The renowned British explorer Captain Robert F. Scott, who perished during his 1911-1912 South Pole expedition, amassed roughly 40 pounds (18 kilograms) of rock that included fossilized seed ferns. These examples demonstrated that there was a time when Antarctica was warm enough to support plant life. But it would take more than 50 years before evidence of an amphibian fossil jaw indicated that other species had flourished there as well. Numerous locations close to the Beardmore and Shackleton glaciers have yielded hundreds of fossilized amphibian and reptile remains since Scott's initial discoveries. The majority of these samples are from 250 to 245 million years ago in the early Triassic Epoch. The discovery that some of these early Triassic fossils belong to the same species as fossils from the same time period discovered on other continents during the 1970s demonstrated that these land masses had once been linked to a form of Pangaea, a supercontinent that served as a superhighway for migrating animals. Some species were only found in Antarctica by the Middle Triassic period, 245 to 235 million years ago, according to fossil discoveries made in the 1980s and 1990s. Evidently, supplies were were now plentiful enough to support ongoing populations and these creatures had gradually changed and adapted to the local environment through time. All turned out to be exclusive to Antarctica, indicating that by this time obstacles were keeping up communities from exchanging DNA throughout Pangaea. 
Number 8. Bacteria Scientists from Chile have found bacteria in Antarctica that have genes for natural antibiotic and antimicrobial resistance and have the potential to move outside of the polar areas. The study, led by Andres Marcaleta of the University of Chile, was published in the Science of the Total Environmental Journal in March. Marcaleta explained that the mobile DNA fragments that contain these superpowers that have evolved to withstand extreme conditions could be easily passed from one bacterium to another. We are aware that the Antarctic Peninsula soils, one of the polar regions most affected by ice melting, are home to a wide variety of bacterial species, and that some of them may be a source of ancestry genes that confer antibiotic resistance. From 2017 to 2019, researchers from the University of Chile have been taking various samples from the Antarctic Peninsula. Number 7. Sea Spiders Look at this orange hellspawn, all lanky. I'll just tell you right now that we are not purchasing whatever is selling. Without having to consider this faceless extraterrestrial baby's goals, we already have too many issues to deal with. Behold the enormous Antarctic sea spider, which completely dwarfs a European sea spider in this photograph. The Antarctic sea spider is an illustration of gigantism in which an animal grows extraordinarily large due to a lack of predators and other conditions that would limit its size. It can reach a diameter of more than 30 centimeters, about the length of a chihuahua. In contrast, the European sea spider is only a few centimeters long. At depths of more than 1,800 meters, Antarctic sea spiders can be found all the way down the continent's coast. Antarctic sea spiders are not actually spiders, despite the fact that they undoubtedly resemble them. Additionally, they are not crustaceans. They are actually marine arthropods from the Pycnogonida family of sea spiders. Sea spiders can have four to six pairs of legs, depending on the species, and are sometimes referred to as pantopoda, which means all legs. As you can see in this image, Antarctic sea spiders have five pairs. The Antarctic sea spider doesn't have much of a body to speak of, hence its legs are absolutely everything to it, as they house its important organs. Number 6. Striped Iceberg Large pieces of ice that have broken off from glaciers' ice shelves and are drifting in open water are called icebergs. This is made up entirely of fresh water since glaciers are made of snow that has fallen on the Antarctic continent over thousands of years. The seawater below this floating piece of freshwater ice then reacts with it. Oceanic currents pull seawater deep into the ice shelves where it supercools and freezes to the base of the ice shelf. This ice formation from seawater that contains minerals and biological materials gives the iceberg a range of colors and textures. The many colored layers can take on dramatic patterns as the bergs are broken up and shaped by the wind and waves. In the icy waters near Antarctica, striped icebergs of different colors such as brown, black, yellow, and blue have been sighted. The photos that follow were taken by Norwegian sailor Oyvin Tangen aboard a research vessel in 2008 while it was 660 miles north of the Antarctic and 1,700 miles south of Cape Town. Number 5. An Ice Fish Colony The ice-covered Weddell Sea in Antarctica is home to a breeding colony of 60 million fish, an unusual and hitherto unrecognized ecosystem that occupies a space the size of Malta. The amazing discovery demonstrates how little is understood about the ocean's depths. The impressive ice fish, which has a see-through head and transparent blood, lives in the massive colony which is thought to be the largest in the entire world. The only vertebrates without red blood cells are ice fish. It evolved an antifreeze protein in its translucent blood that prevents ice crystals from forming in order to survive at such low temperatures. The German Arctic research ship Polar Stern, which was surveying the seabed roughly a half kilometer below the ship, found the breeding colony in February 2021. It made use of a car-sized camera system mounted on the ship's stern that sends images up to the deck while it is being towed. The nests, which stood out from the muddy seabed by a circle of stones, were a surprise because the expedition was intended to study ocean currents. Number 4. Past Rainforests According to fossil roots, pollen, and spores found there recently, a temperate rainforest flourished in West Antarctica some 90 million years ago, a new study reveals. In a sediment core from a seafloor near a Pine Island glacier in West Antarctica that a group of international researchers gathered in 2017, the vestiges of the rainforest were found beneath the ice. The crew recognized they had something unusual as soon as they saw the core. Johan Klages, a geologist at the Alfred Wegener Institute in Helmholtz Center for Polar and Marine Research in Bremerhaven, Germany, who's the study's principal investigator, said in a statement that the layer obviously varied from the layers above it. The scientists inserted the core into a CT 
Key computer tomography scanner back at the lab. The generated digital image revealed the substantial root network that covered the whole soil layer. Along with old pollen and spores, the dirt also contained traces of Cretaceous-era flowering plants. Ulrich Salzman, a paleoecologist at Northumbria University in England and a study co-researcher, was able to reconstruct the vegetation and temperature of West Antarctica 90 million years ago by examining the pollen and spores. According to Salzman in the statement, the many plant remnants suggest that the coast of West Antarctica was, back then, a lush, temperate, marshy forest, similar to the forest seen in New Zealand today. Day. Number 3. Cosmic Particles Radio wave signals from cosmic ray air showers that have bounced off the ice can be picked up by ANITA, a stratospheric balloon payload traveling over the Antarctic. ANITA discovered a fountain of high-energy particles emerging from the ice that resembled an upside-down cosmic ray shower during flights in December 2006 and December 2014. After studying the particle, researchers hypothesized that it might be a product of a neutrino interaction. The primary building blocks of the cosmos, neutrinos, were created during the Big Bang's explosion. From the origin of the universe to the nuclear processes that power cities, they can tell us everything. According to Gorham, it might mean that we're genuinely witnessing a brand new class of deeply penetrating subatomic particles, even more invasive than a neutrino, which is challenging to achieve. Almost the entire surface of the world might be traversed by one particle. Therefore, this might be a sign of a novel type of physics, or what is known as physics beyond the standard model. According to the detections, signals originated from upward moving particles that burrowed through the soil before exploding from the ice. But it's not anticipated that cosmic rays would do so frequently. One theory is that a bright supernova's cosmic rays penetrated the entire world. Number 2. Hidden German Base the Nazis expressed interest in Antarctica in the late 1930s and sent an expedition to examine a portion of it and stake a claim to it for Germany. The claim was abandoned, but it planted the seeds for a variety of illusions about possible hidden activities. What actually happened then? The MS Schwabenland, part of a little-known German expedition to Antarctica from December 17, 1938 to April 12, 1939, set out to claim what is now known as Dronning Maud Land primarily to safeguard the German whaling business. However, Norway had already studied this region, and once the Germans left port in January 1939, the Norwegians formally claimed it. A steam catapult and two Dornier wall-flying boats on board the Schwabenland were employed to photographically survey 600,000 square kilometers of land. At the turning locations of flight polygons, about a dozen aluminum flags were dropped from the aircraft. Others were left by foot missions. None of these have ever been found. In August 1939, Germany formally claimed the area as Neuschwabenland, taking its name from the ship. The start of the war prevented two additional planned missions and the potential construction of a base, the most likely on the opposite side of Antarctica, in the Pacific region away from the Norwegian claim, which was abandoned in 1945. Throughout World War II, there is no proof of any more German action in Antarctica. Hitler intended to discover alternatives for margarine and other products containing fat in case import sources were shut off during the war. Number 1. Headless Chicken Monster it's the real-life equivalent of the chicken of the sea, and actually, it's neither a monster nor a chicken. Enipniastes eximia, a swimming sea cucumber, was recently filmed by scientists in the Southern Ocean, close to eastern Antarctica, where it has never been previously. It mimics a hen while swimming. The colorful sea cucumber can be seen floating in the water in the video. The top and bottom fins on its tubby, transparent body resemble the short wings and legs of pink, pluckable poultry that is about to be cooked. You might mistake what you're seeing for the unfortunate outcome of a chicken and Aquaman tryst if you squint. Scientists from the Australian Antarctic Division AAD, a division of the Australian Department of the Environment devoted to studying Antarctica and the southern region, reportedly discovered the alleged headless chicken monster, which was previously only discovered in the Gulf of Mexico. The swimming sea cucumber was found by the researchers at a depth of roughly 9,800 feet below sea level using modern camera equipment. According to a 1990 study published in the journal Smithsonian Contributions to the Marine Sciences, E. eximia is normally between 2 and 8 inches long, and its adult hues can range from dark reddish brown to crimson. However, youngsters are typically a softer shade of pink. Swimming sea cucumbers like E. eximia only land to feed, according to findings from a 1990 study, but the bulk of sea cucumber species spend most of their time on the sea floor. 
That's about it for today's video on 20 incredible recent discoveries in Antarctica. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share it with your friends so that both of you can see more interesting videos like this. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.